Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today, we are bringing back an old series I like to call The Guardian Gauntlet. However, we are going to be doing it differently this time. So for those that don't know, The Guardian Gauntlet was a series I started on my channel where we essentially started with Ares. And in the first season of The Guardian Gauntlet, the rules were that uh, whenever I would win with a Guardian, I would move on to the next. So when I won with Ares, I'd go to Ardeo, then I'd play Ardeo. And if I lost with Ardeo twice, I would go back to Ares. But if I got a win, I could move forward. And uh, it was pretty fun, but there was a lot of ups and downs to it. So we're going to do it differently for this season, all right? So the Guardian Gauntlet this time, we're going to do with a little wheel. So we're going to have these, this, this good old wheel, spin it. And it's, we're just going to choose whatever Guardian it lands on. So this has all the Guardians in it with my little God Request images. So we got Athena, all right? So that means I'll go and play Athena. And the way I'll do it is if I win with Athena, I will remove Athena from the wheel and the next episode will keep going and we won't, you know, Athena won't be an option. If I lose with Athena, uh, then she'll stay on the wheel. So it's, it's pretty much a way to get so that we get a win with all the Guardians. Uh, but also we don't get stuck on one character, which kind of ruins the series, which is what happened anyways. But yeah, let's uh, jump into the game. So we're going to play some Athena and we are up against Poseidon. Now, normally I ban Poseidon, but lately, uh, lately I've been banning Freya just because uh, auto attack mage is just really, really good right now. And I mean, Poseidon's an auto attack mage too, but uh, he doesn't have an escape like Freya in terms of his ult. And I mean, Aegis does pretty good against Poseidon ult. Uh, both gods are really annoying to fight, but oh well. Um, we're going to do the start that, oh man, oh, I'm going to feel so bad. I, I went up against a viewer and they played me, played against me with Athena and they rushed Kronos Pennant. And then I realized, oh, that is actually the, the better start. Um, so I kind of stole that start, but I can't remember who it was. I, I might remember it throughout the video, but yeah, rushing Kronos Pennant, pretty good on Athena. Uh, getting that cooldown immediately is really, really nice. Um... Do I want to try to secure my blue or just fight? Trying to fight here is not a terrible idea considering the amount of damage I do. Also, he stayed in my three there, which was insane. <laughs> I also probably could have gone for red, but I, I prefer blue buff at, on guardians. Uh, they just use too much mana and the cooldowns really, really helpful early. I probably could have went for red just for the XP and gold, and just to prevent him from taking it. But yeah, the idea the idea of this series is to go through every single Guardian full gameplay, uh, and learn and grow for each and every Guardian on the different types of strats we can do. And I think the way with the wheel will be best. It avoids the playing the same character over and over again in the in a row. That was problematic before. What are you doing, bro? What am I doing? Nice. Good stuff. Don't level up the ult on Athena, it's useless <laughs> in duel. Uh, why am I lagging? Okay, that was weird. Can't afford Chronos Benet, but we can get Health Chalice. I know exactly where I'm going to use this. Yeah, because I think with the first series of the Guardian Gauntlet, I I kind of got frustrated because I was stuck on the same god over and over again. And it just kind of getting bad matchups over and over again, which, you know, that's how it is with Guardians. But I was kind of getting in my own head. And then similar thing when, when I bring it back uh, for the second season, I had lighter rules so that I wouldn't go backwards on gods, but I'd rather just stay at the same god. And then we got stuck on Terra forever. Uh, and again, Terra's not terrible at duel. She's just my least favorite guardian. I don't know what this besides is doing, bro. What are you doing? You can't be cleared wave like that, man. Um, but uh, yeah, I think this this way. The, the what's nice about this is also if new guardians come back come out, I just add them to the wheel. It's like they were always there, kind of. Uh, so yeah, it'll, it'll be pretty interesting as we get towards the end. As we get towards the end, it'll probably be only the gods I can't win with. But 
Even that's not so bad if there's some variety. Only the last god will probably be miserable. If I were to guess, it's probably going to be Kepri or something like that. I could use my shard here, but I'm just going to wait for my, my ability. Nice. I was a little worried that Aegising there, I wasn't going to be able to use my ability in time and he was going to get away. But it with the, the Athena passive, with the reach, uh, we had just enough damage to kill him, which was cool. I also could have continued diving if I wanted to. Alright, let's put another point in the two. It's pretty good to level. Extra CC. Also gonna go Genji's. Because then we're at 30% cooldown. Started the game pretty damn good on Athena. It's insane how good Athena 3 is. It does so much damage. I challenge you. Like, look at that clear. Mm. Athena's probably one of my favorite uh, dual guardians. Just because... Uh, most people's initial reaction is, oh, Athena's the worst god in duel because she doesn't have an ultimate. Uh, but her, her kit's amazing with reach, so I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I love playing her. Uh, obviously, there's some bad matchups. He's going Book of Thoth. He's probably going to go Tablet of Destiny. I don't think I'm going to go Tablet of Destiny, even though I think it's good. He also has his ult, so I don't want to dive if I don't have to. I challenge you. Stand your ground. He definitely wants to ult me here. I, I might bait his ult. But I'm, I don't want to actually die for this. Oh, I missed. Damn. <laughs> a dash into my taunt is like a guaranteed kill there, but also if he ults me and I'm under tower, it's not worth giving him the return kill. Turn and fight. Chrome's pennant helping us out quite a bit. And then also, obviously, if there's any feedback for this series, bringing it back this way, uh, let me know. I kind of wanted to not do too many full gameplays again, uh, because I'm not kind of a huge fan of them myself. But I got a lot of comments on my last few videos on that people missed the full gameplay, so yeah, we'll, we'll bring them back. Bring it back in the series. Now that he's his ult's down, I'm actually not that scared of him. I'm only scared of the whirlpool. And but with my my shard, I don't know. Oh, I think he's dead now since he used that. Oh, it didn't get hit. Oh wow! I should I should not have done my auto attack cancel. I thought my two was uh, long enough CC that he would guaranteed be pulled back into my three, but nope, he has, he has a lot of movement speed. Uh, so I should not have done that. That's all right. It's not a big deal. At this point, I'm 3-0. Uh, getting a kill is not actually going to put me that much more ahead. Actually, what I could do... I haven't done this. I could go Book of Thoth into Tablet of Destiny myself. Oni Hunters. I haven't seen that item in Duel in a long time. I mean, it's not terrible <laughs> it has pretty good stats the crowd control reduction did he have that before in that fight because that that's actually what would have saved him uh i mean i think there's better items but you know I challenge you. you see he's pretty tanky now oh, he's going straight for my blue do i actually want to fight him instead of take taking this wave i think i do Unfortunately, I gave him an easy way out uh, by doing that. Damn. Should have used my three first. That's alright. Uh, he should be dead. He doesn't have anything. Cool. Cool, we're good. Didn't play it the best we could, but we still got the kill. Doesn't mean we can't learn from it. Because if I go Book of, uh, Book of Thoth with Tablet of Destiny or Polly or something crazy like that, I have an insane late game. Uh, I wouldn't have much, like, penetration, but that's probably fine. He's chasing me, but I, I don't 
I think I'm fine. Since his ult's down. Plus I have Aegis. If anything, he just lost a full minion wave for that. That's not worth. He gets red. Uh, if it's still up, I don't, I'm not sure. A guardian must do what's best for them. Let's get Blink. Uh, I'm not too worried if he gets horrific. If he does, uh, I, I just, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm really not too worried about it. I think my Blink is way, way too worth to not get against Poseidon. Because against Poseidon, what I like to do is I wait until they use their Whirlpool. And then right as they cast it, I blink onto them, and then it's like, oh, okay, now you're in a terrible spot. I challenge you. Okay, I, I need to stop at odd attack canceling. He actually has too much uh, crowd control reduction, where I'm not getting the three into my two. Or I could just use my two and then the three. Uh, that, that'll be better when I have poly. I challenge you. Oh, I didn't hit my Aegis button. Oops. I actually hit the, the other one. Cool. <laughs> you know what's the scary part? The scary part is I'm 5-0, and oh, and if he kills me, he could win the game. <laughs> he could come back and win this. He just has to kill me once. And he has a pretty damn good shot. Uh, just because Poseidon's so good in duel. Alright, let's get back, get out. Um, so do I want the crazy late game? It does sound kind of fun with the scaling. I don't even think I need Tablet of Destiny. I could just go Poly. Look at those. Poly works pretty well. They give a lot of mana, a lot of power. And that way I can get some pen in my build. I don't need Anti-Heal because he didn't go Bancrofts. Most, uh, most besides do go Bancrofts. Look at that damage. It's just one round of my kit. Again, I don't have any pen right now. We can actually take this tower just with my passive. Turn and fight. Push them nice. Back. Yeah, if it wasn't for Athena passive, she would probably be one of the worst guardians in duel. <laughs> but her, her passive is just so, so good. Um, the Like, if you were to put Athena's passive onto some of the other guardians, oh my goodness, it'd be so much better. Like, imagine Geb having Athena passive. Oh, that'd be insane. Do these stack? No, they don't. Okay, cool. They do affect minions, though, which is kind of cool. So if you if you drag that assassin dude to the middle of the lane and then kill it, it'll give a movement speed buff to your minions, which is pretty useful because a lot of times in duel you get a kill and then you can't do anything because your minions aren't like by phoenix but if you had one of those little buff things like over here and you got a kill and then your minions movement speed was buffed to get to phoenix closer right oh oh he took demon king i didn't even realize <laughs> i don't think it really helps him if i'm quite honest i just all all i need to do is make sure he doesn't kill me um i do want this red buff though Didn't auto attack out there because I didn't want him to not get hit by my three. The second part of my three does, you know, way more damage. I do have my Aegis. Yeah, I'm gonna skip Tablet of Destiny. That's that's like we don't need it. It's not gonna Polly's gonna help me way more. <laughs> It's, it sounds fun, but it's really not necessary. Polly will help me take that Phoenix, like, now. Must do what's best for them. Um, okay, he is going at uh, Bancroft, so I'm going to get Divine Rune. Or he's going something in that tree. I should be able to defend this tower, too, which is cool. Your middle tower is under oh, is he just going I straight for it? That's kind of annoying, isn't it? Oops. You better back down. Turn and fight. Your middle tower is under attack. I challenge you. 
Man, I, I don't have the pen right now to kill him. If I do have the blink, I do have the blink. I was kind of thinking there, should I dash first? But if I dash first, he's just going to whirlpool me in Phoenix, and then I pretty much guarantee die, right? So instead, I could cancel my dash, blink, and then, you know, deal with him and still have my escape up to get out of Phoenix. So it worked out. Pretty cool. And of course, we destroy this with Polly, or do we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> uh, uh, play it safe. Play it safe. I've actually lost games being more ahead. I've also won games being more behind, so... Uh, and I know exactly how that happens, is overstaying your welcome. And it's I can lose tower at this point in the game, it doesn't matter. I mean, it does matter a little bit, but... You know, when my Aegis is down and he's Poseidon, uh, best to not overstay. Which reminds me, um, after I get Divine Ruin, I should upgrade my Aegis. Probably pretty important. Turn and fight. He does have double life still with uh, Spear of Magus and Bancrofts. So my Divine Ruin will help quite a bit. Glory to Athens! Try to hit him in the tower at the same time. I mean, Titan. Uh, I don't know. This might not be the time to actually fight, fight. Might be better to finish my item and get red buff. I can't pick up red buff, but uh, then he can't take it. Oh, is he really going to try to sneak Demon King again? Is that... Wow, dude. Oh, all Poseidon players are the same, man. Yo, what's up? What's up, homie? I think he takes it with his all. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay as long as I don't die here. Unless I go back in like an idiot. I couldn't blink! Oh, that was scary. Alright, I didn't die. <laughs> if I died there, though! Oh my god, he would have gotten Phoenix and possibly my Titan. Because my respawn timer is, like, insane right now. Uh, let's just get Obsidian. I, I think I have the damage. I just need the pen to back it up. Rod would also be good. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what's mathematically more on, like, gods like Athena. Because my auto attacks do a huge amount of damage. So Rav 2D is probably pretty nice, especially with the power. But is that extra pen better for when I initiate with my 3 and then 2? I don't know. Ah, oh, that was bad of me. He is pretty scary to fight now. Uh oh, I didn't realize I was coming up. I mean, it's, it's one poly shot from dying, so it's not a big deal. If he backs up, he loses Phoenix. I want him to know that. Because I don't want him to back up. Okay, cool. Turn and fight. Soldiers ascend. Very cool. As Demon King's down. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're chilling. We're big chilling. Uh, <laughs> again, I, I'm literally 6-0, but it's starting to feel like a pretty close game. I'm very glad I didn't go Tablet of Destiny. Because it really wouldn't have helped me that much. It's a great item, but uh, not quite what I needed. I think he's behind this wall. My Aegis is down. I really should upgrade it. I should upgrade it before I finish Obsidian, I think. Probably go the one that gives me movement speed so I can keep up with him. Alright, cool. Let's go place our wards.
This is all yeah, I, I really do need to focus up. 6-0, and oh, but I, I really don't want to lose this. That red buff's up. Maybe I should wait for my... Or I think it's up. I could wait for my blue buff to be down before taking it. Because that'll give me a huge amount of damage. I'm also about to get max cooldown once I get power potion. Part of me wonders if poking Titan here is worth. Stand your ground. Turn and fight. I challenge you. Soldiers, assemble. Okay. I mean, quarter, quarter of Titan health. And now if I go for red buff, it'll be back up in time. Which is cool. All right, let's just go get red. Oh, let's just go get red. We're, we're kind of... <laughs> not much is happening. So get red, get power pushing, finish Obsidian. That's a huge power spike for me. Whereas he's not really going to get too much more. Should be able to pick this up. Yep. Uh, Demon King is up. I'll let him go take that if he wants, I guess. Uh, maybe I should have fought for it. I don't know. I just really wanted my power spike from red and all that. Plus, I have blink here, so if he did go for it. If he did go for it, it's mine! That's right, bro! Oh, that's right, it's mine! And now you're caught in the middle of nowhere. Oh, trying to sneak Demon King against Athena? Tisk, tisk, tisk. It's kind of a landslide for the first episode of this, uh, but. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be episodes where I'm, you know, I'm the person getting landslided. That happens to me a lot. Uh, just the other day, I went up against who was it? Gotchiron, and he, oh my God, he destroyed me. He destroyed my Fafnir and my. What was the other god I played? Uh, oh, I can't remember. It was two guardians. But yeah, GGs. Um, I hope you guys are looking forward to the series. So I'll, I'll, I'll aim to do it once a week. Uh, as like my goal, but I'll I'll try to do it twice a week. I think I think that's pretty good. One once a week, Guardian got lit. I can handle, and then twice a week would be ideal. Um, and then along with edited videos, which I will be you know playing on stream and then editing, kind of like I did with the last two videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, buddy.